Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video we added a client. Now let's add a routine for the client. So once we log in we get here on this page, the client's page. To add a routine we can do it actually from three different places. We can do it from the client page. Let's say if I go to pull up my client from the client tab I go to the client details page. I can add the routine by clicking on this button. If I am in the video library and I go to clients videos, we'll go over this client videos library in the next video. But from here, if I pull up the client, I can also add a routine for this client by clicking on this button. And then finally, I am in the Routines tab, and I pull up my client. In the Client Routines, of course, I pull up my client. From here, I can add a routine from this uh, tab as well. Okay, so. Let's go to what I would normally do is I pull up the client from the Clients tab and uh, this is also the most important page um, because this is where I manage all the saved routines for that client and I can assign the routines or remove the routines so that the clients can see. So in this case um, our client does not have a routine and we want to create one. Okay, so we go and create new routines and this is the routines page for this client. The client is already um, selected here. Choose your clients. Now um, I have a client routines. I want to give this routine a name. So let's call it demo, demo routine for our example. And I can enter some comments. Um, any comments you think the client would like to see and maybe to understand how to do the routine or any other comments you deem necessary. So here you enter the comments. And um, we have no videos selected in the routine yet. Now here, selected general folders is where, for example, you're creating a routine that you think you'll use in the future for another client. You want to save that routine in one of the existing general folders, or you can click on add folder. Okay, click on add folder. You enter the name of your new folder, you add it, and then you can select it to save that routine in that particular folder so that in the future you can use that routine for another client. One idea here, you can add your general folder in your name so you can, you can save your favorite routines you can use over and over again. So we are not selecting a general folder for now. But what we're doing is we are choosing some, video, some videos for this client. Here we can choose from two videos. One is the general routines videos, which are all the videos that are already in the general folders in the video library that we have um, we uploaded in the past. I can also upload a video of um, of the client that I'm taking today, for example, from my iPhone or from the iPad or any other tablet. You can take the video, come here or go to the video library, I'll show you in a later video, and upload the video of the client. If the client has videos in the library, they will show up right under here. And I'll show you an example afterwards. But for now, let's just choose a stretches routine. So here I pull up all the videos in the stretches general folder. Quite a few. Okay. And uh, I can select the videos by just clicking on the title 
the background here, the title uh, turns to red, that means the video is selected in the routine and is this in this case the first sequence, the first video in the sequence of the um, routine. I can select any videos I want. I can also watch the video before I select it. I double click on the video and I can play it. So I can make sure that this is the correct video to add. Then if I think this is the correct video, I can insert it. Or if it's not correct video, I can close it and select another one. In this case, this was the correct video. And let's see. I can also add more videos from different folders. I can add, so for example, a couple of videos here. And you see they are all added in a sequence. Now, before I save routine, I want to make sure that the sequence is the correct se sequence. I want the client to follow. If, for example, I wanted to change it up a little bit, I can just select the video I want to move, and then I move it to the, to the correct position. Okay, and everything else follows. So that means that when the client logs on to the, the, the iPhone app or the web app, that's the sequence in the in that routine. So I make sure that I title it, put a name, some comments, and all the videos are selected. And at this point, I'm ready to save the routine for this client. And I go here, and I save the routine. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, at this point, the client receives an email automatically. You don't have to send the client an email. It receives an email. You have a new routine, okay, with the a reminder on how to download the app. So um, either by uh, Apple Store, Play Store, or the web app, and then username and password. This email is sent out automatically, just like when I add a new client. That client receives an automatic email welcome welcoming him or her into perfect forms okay we're back at perfect forms and now let's see let's go back to this client so this client has now a demo routine in his um, account and uh, as long as uh, I leave this routine assigned here the client can see it if I don't want the client to be able to view this routine, I just remove it. When I click delete, it does not delete the routine from the, uh, the database for this client. It just puts it in a, in a folder that is separate. So the client doesn't see it when it logs on. And, but it, it's always there for me to re-add. So what I do, I click on the routine and I assign the selected routine and then click update. Okay. Perfect. Um, as far as routine is concerned, um, let's, for example, assign a, an existing ankle and foot routine, one of the existing ones that we have saved in the past. Let's say I want to assign this one to the client. I select the routine and uh, all is in order. I can always add a, um, a new general routines video to it if I want to, just like we did before. But now I want to assign it to my client. Okay. So I click, I select, I type in the client name, I select the client. Now when I update, the routine because I haven't changed anything so what I want to do update the routine so that it is saved again in the client folder and it, and, uh, it stays the same in the general routines folder if I change it a little bit okay if I, let's say um, I want to remove a video or move it over what I do I need to I save it as new I need to rename it I need to give it a new name. And 
let's say I don't want to save it back into my anchor and foot. I just wanted to save it in the in the in the clients folder. I remove the general folder, and then here I need to put a new name. Let's say Tiziano. Okay, and now what I do, I all in order. I save as new. And uh, when you pull up the client, now this client has the two routines assigned, one here and one here. And uh, from here, you can edit a routine, not just create a new one. If you want to edit other routine, you just click on the routine you want to edit. You click on the edit button, you get back to this routine and you edit it by removing videos, by moving them around, okay, or by even adding other videos. And once you've done that, and you don't have to rename the routine because what you're doing, you're just updating it. And so uh, you go to update and you're done, okay? One quick thing I wanted to show you before I end this video is uh, the ability to send an email to any client. If you want to send an email to any client, you just you know, select the client or again search the client and from here you click send email. In my case I connected the app with uh, Gmail. It pulls up a uh, a page where I can just have to fill it. This is automatically populated. The three ways to download the app to view videos, the username and password are also always um, populated in the email just in case the client doesn't remember them. And then you want to go back to perfect forms. You just click on the back button and it takes you back to the page you left. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.